What's going on guys? It's Bucky and welcome to your third chemistry lab tutorial. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about beakers. Now beakers are actually one of the most commonly used pieces of equipment in your chemistry lab. You can actually use these things for a wide variety of different uses. Now some of the more common uses for a beaker are first mixing material. And the reason that I prefer to mix my samples in a beaker rather than test tubes is because obviously as you guys can see, a beaker holds a lot more material than a test tube, so it's usually easier to mix stuff in. Another reason that people use beakers is for measuring. So whenever you buy your beakers, make sure that it has a volume indicator on the side because if it's just plain glass, then we can't measure anything with it. Another thing is boiling. So if you have a sample that you just need to heat up or a solution that you need to boil, you can go ahead and put it on a hot plate or over a flame. And that's why I recommend getting a high quality glass because we're going to be using beakers a lot to heat up solutions. So whenever we heat them up, if you have a low quality like cheapo glass, they usually crack or, you know, high quality glass is awesome since we're going to be heating it up. That's what I'm trying to say. And another reason that I really love beakers is because they have a little spout and the spout is really good whenever you want to pour something. It makes it a lot easier. So again, mixing, measuring, boiling, heating up, pouring, beakers are pretty much awesome for all around uses. Now another thing I want to recommend is buy your beakers as a set. Because if you were to buy all of these beakers individually, then it's going to be really expensive. But if you were to buy all of these as a set, for example, I bought these five right here, the five in front is a five piece set, you can get all of these for under $20 online. So if you want to save some money, like I said, make sure you buy them as a set instead of individual beakers. Now another thing is if you have the money to, then you really should get two sets because it's amazing how often you need two beakers of the exact same size in our labs. But like I said, if not, you know, it's not 100% necessary, but it's going to make things a lot easier. So buy them as a set. If you can, buy two. And if you're on a really tight budget and you can only buy a few, I recommend getting 250 milliliters because these are the beakers that we're going to be using most frequently. Now another thing I want to recommend is that if you can, buy a watch glass. Now a watch glass is basically a big round piece of glass, kind of looks like a contact lens, if you guys can see it. And it's actually another supply that we're going to be talking about in another video. Basically you use it to observe simple chemical reactions. But the reason that I'm talking about it in this video is because you can actually use them with your beakers. Whenever you have a solution or a chemical that you want to store for a short period of time in a beaker, you can actually just cover it with a watch glass and it's helpful for a couple of reasons. First of all, it slows down evaporation so you don't lose your solution so fast. And another thing is that it helps from contamination so you know no dust or anything else from your lab gets in it. So basically, Get a wash glass if you can. If not, you can just cover it with something else. But these are really handy to have around. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.